All right, guys. So this is another zero death game. We're gonna uh, see right what I did on this match to not die. Pro. See what I do. So I stay back here. You notice because I don't want to get sniped as the gates open. I don't know what the enemy team has. They could have a Widow, they could have a Hanzo. You can't really see until like 10, 15 minutes into the match. So I'm constantly checking to see what they have so I can know how to best adjust my play. And I'm staying back and I'm letting my team lead because I want to take, I want to be able to heal any damage that they take as soon as they take it. And you see the Zarya got hurt and my heal was ready because that's, because I was, I was ready. Right? I was ready to um, heal my team. There you go. My Reinhardt's um, damage. And I'm in this, oh, I'm in this building specifically because my team's in there. Typically, you don't want to be in a building because it limits your movement. Um, it makes you an easier to target to kill. And a bastion. Yep. And notice how I'm checking the team, uh, the enemy team comp. Um, and they have a lot of frontline snipers. Now, it is 5v6, but eventually they're going to get oh, man, they're gonna get their uh, another member, team member, and it's going to be a much harder game where I have a lot of opportunities to die here. There we go. So... Oh, do you see the sniper? I want to present myself as a, as a target to that sniper as little as possible. So I'm actually standing in this corner. I'm trying to edge around. I'm trying to pay attention. Oh, I see her. See, I, I'm paying attention up there um, to see where she could possibly be so I know not I to be there. I have to stay out of line of sight here. I, I have very little opportunity to do damage just because there's two widows. Yeah. yeah. I'm, prior to, I'm prioritizing um, survival over damage so I can support my team. Yes. I have my ultimate, so that's very nice. Yeah, exactly, exactly. When there's I can't do damage safely, so I want to stay safe here. Yep. When there's a widow, um, you don't want to do damage. That's like one of my rules. If you can't do damage safely, don't do damage at all. Just no listen. <laughs> Just listen to that. Or worse, dying and then losing all your ability. Yeah. At least if you, at least if you spend your time not dying, you have the potential to do damage. You don't have that potential if you're dead. Well, as well just listen to old me. But yeah, so if you can't do damage safely, don't do damage at all. Um, um, only except only except uh, that rule is in overtime situations where you have to do play. Um, I don't know that, where that is. Where you have to play dangerously or you lose. But any other situation, don't sacrifice um, survivability for damage. Now you see how I'm playing back here. See how I'm keeping it. I, my my heal range is 30 meters, so I can play back. I can heal my team from back there, and I'm able to see that tracer. Behind me. I'm able to get an eye on that tracer. Yeah, so Tracer can't kill me with her guns because I I know how to pl properly position. I know how to use this movement. But she can't kill me with her ult. And her ult is very short range. So what I want to do is as soon as I see Tracer, I want to get to uh, elevation. Uh, uh, God damn it, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man. So I was trying to get to that spot and I was having a little bit of trouble. Uh, uh, so <laughs> but notice how while I was lollygagging. It looked like while I was lollygagging. And not really doing much in that spot. I was still healing three people. So I was still doing my job. Um, but now I'm up here. I'm elevated. I'm really safe up here. Except for that Widow, which is really keeping an eye on. I want to see that Widow before she sees me so I know where to not be. You know, know how to stay, how to best stay in a lot of sight. So I'm, I am keeping an eye on that Widow. There you go. And I have five seconds until my ult heal. My app here. Let's see if I use it. Oh, I have to drop out of line of sight. So I have my app here, but I know they have a Bastion. What does Lucio's toggles do? Uh, one is the speed buff, the yellow one is the speed buff, and then the other one, this one, the the green one is the uh, the, oh, the green one is the speed buff, and the yellow one is the heal buff. Oh, yeah. so Fer Ferris chasing me, but yeah, she can't catch me. I'm a Ginger Bread man, guys. I'm a Ginger Bread man. One yellow one heals, green one speeds. There you go. And she's still trying yeah, to kill me. Running. <laughs> kill me, Smalls. <laughs> She's still trying to kill me, and then I, yeah, I ult my team. I get a five-man ult here, and we do some work with this. Need to go in with them. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I, yeah. See, I, I go in. I maybe absorb some damage. Uh, good, good question, Fish. I maybe absorb some damage with my shield, and then I back off because I just let my team do the pushing, and I stay safe. Stay safe. They still have that widow, so I got. I still got to play back. Yeah. Exactly. I do. And they have a flanker. Let's see. They have a Reinhardt. Uh, oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah, I, I was on the ground there. I, I was on the ground there, but um. Oh jeez! How did I get sniped? What? I don't know. But I didn't die though. Yep, and, and my, I can drop out behind a lot of side as soon as I uh, as soon as I need to because I'm always close to close to cover. That's where you want to be. You want to be close to cover so at a moment's notice you can drop out a lot of side when you need to. There you go. And there you go. Got my apple ham. See that fair? 
Got my, got my app on him, and um, this 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 stairway is really nice because I can go up, and I can also um, break line of sight. There you go. And I have my my heel. I'm gonna see. Let's see if I use it. I try to use it. I try to get an angle on that person, but he goes really on that Reinhardt. But he goes really ham, guys. Um, but now I have my app available for someone else who didn't go as ham and who lived. Now, see, you see how everyone else but me is dying. Just stay alive. Yeah, you see how everyone because they're not properly positioned because it's not that they don't know how to position or they don't necessarily know how to position. It's that they're damage characters, so they need to be in the line of fire of the enemy team in order to do their job. As a support character, you um, as, as Lucio, you don't need to do that. Um, you can put out damage sometimes, but that is your least priority. Um, you need to be supporting your team and prioritizing survival over doing damage, which means a lot of time you're just not in, a, in the line of sight of the enemy team, which is good because it makes it so you're much more survivable than if you were in the line of sight of the team. What you could do to make your ult more effective is instead of speeding after you ult, first ult, use your, your speed amp to speed your team into the fight. And once they start moving towards the fight and are prepared and are like going to go ham, then you owe them to give them more sense. More than that is, uh, it doesn't actually add to the push. And I'm staying elevated here. I'm yeah. staying back here in elevation. Yeah. What I just want to stay in as many in line of sight of as many of my team as possible. Like, but also stay safe. So what I'm saying is, it takes three people to push the payload, and anymore it doesn't push it anymore. I would accept me. Yeah, everyone else dies. Everyone else dies, but I'm properly positioned, so I don't die. So I don't die. But I'm still doing my job from here. Oh, oh got smashed. Like that, my team, my everyone else dies, but you stay alive to do your damage. If I was dead, I wouldn't be able to heal that bastion right now. Do my job again. Yeah, keep. Widow. Just because your team's not doing their job properly doesn't mean you have to stop doing your job properly. Do your job. There you go. Get the app on him because I'm saving all my abilities for heals because I know that's the most efficient use that's of my time. That's how fast my ult is uh, generating. 95% of the time. That's the most efficient use of my time. There you go. And I'm healing that fair. I'm healing that fair. I mean, I'm paying attention to it. Look how much, I, look how much I can see by staying so far back. I'm just going to start doing damage. Yeah. Your, your, your damage doesn't have... Hole here. Your palace don't have damage fall off. I'm not going to waste any time with that. Okay. There we go. And we run in. Now, now you notice how my team just runs yeah, in as soon as I ult them? That's why it's so beneficial to speed buff before you ult. But it, again, your ult is so powerful that I still did a lot of work. My team, my team still did a lot of work with that ult. There we go. And I want to get her back into combat as fast as possible. Mm hmm. There we go. I could be here. I trust my ears. Oh, God. Nope. There we go. And now I'm, I'm trying to edge out. So what I'm trying to do here is get an angle on my What's team, but not have the, the enemy team have an angle on me. There we go. Oh, I got to run. Oh, God. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> wow. Yeah, so uh, I was in a position. I was in, I was elevated, but I was in a forward position. I north. Cover. Yeah. If I took cover uh, any worse there, I would have died. Yeah. But I didn't. I was the boss. I was in an elevated position specifically to support my team, and once they died, I had to retreat. And that's why. And I knew that Bastion had his ult, so that's why I speed speed buffed out of there. That's one of the few times where I used my speed buff. If I had been positioned properly, maybe I need, wouldn't need to use it, but I lived there, so you know it worked out. But but you always want to be looking for opportunities to improve yourself, even when you, even when things work out. Because you want to make sure you want to make things work out as much as possible yeah, in a in a in a um, in a reliable way. Oh wow, she really wants me dead specifically. <laughs> there you go. We're trying to edge out this widow here. No, no one actually needed the app. So notice how I used the app, but no one down here didn't show anyone was actually taking damage. Um, you wanna you wanna use your app when people are taking damage. Um, but again, we're pushing the point. So you know, again. Zero deaths. So we this emphasizes that zero deaths doesn't mean doesn't mean you need to play perfectly. It just you means you, you can do things you to did. to still do your that job. Game. That was, uh, close. So I, I made a lot of I could I had a lot of opportunities to play perf uh, pay better here, but I didn't need I didn't need to play perfectly in order to do my job and not die. I don't think I died there. I don't think I died there. Mm -hmm. I think I was playing properly, absolutely properly. I, I think I even got some really good oats as well. 
We'll see my stats, but I think I was doing work that game, I believe. The stats shot how. Yeah, 32% yeah. of my team's damage. Oh, um, oh right heart. I did work on the healing side. And let's see about that. Uh, there you go. And I did work on the death, death side, the sound barrier side. Yeah. The limit. Oh, my goodness. The healing side as well. Man, that's how you play, guys. I was like, uh, 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 uh. I was playing, I was playing um, appropriately cautiously based on the situation. Like, I, I kept staying out of line that side of the widow. At one point, there was two, but I didn't die to her once. Not once did I die to her. And I had so many opportunities to die to her, too. But I'm just a boss, guys. I am just a boss. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is a zero death stream, guys. This is a zero death stream. 